Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for one of the most hype Alliance War videos of the season. So we actually rematched Kenobi, which was the first war I had with Four Loki. And these guys are regarded as the best war alliance in the game. They've come first for multiple seasons. Their defense is the best in the game because of their first place finishes. They have so many rank three defenders. It is crazy. I have five fights this war and three of them are rank three six stars. And uh, the final one is this Annihilus right here. Uh, six star rank three Annihilus with Siphon. Yeah. So let me get, give you guys a little bit of pre-context before this war starts. Uh, <clears throat> so we matched Kenobi and like there, there's a way to, to know who you matched based on like the, the stats of the war before you like actually see who the opponent is. So we figured out this Kenobi and then you know, we're all like, oh, Kenobi. And then we're like, you know what? They're not unbeatable. They, they lost a war to ISO A and we're like, we can do this. You know, like, we can do this. We, we're gonna win. Like, we can win this. They're not unbeatable. Let's do it. And like, as an alliance, we're like, yeah, we're gonna do it. So it was great. And so I went to bed and I'm like, uh, Kenobi war in the morning. You know, I set my alarm for when, a little bit after war started. So I wake up, I check my phone. I, I see my paths posted and I'm, I'm reading it and I'm half asleep. I'm like, yeah, okay, Sim Supreme, Omega Red. Uh-huh, Annihilus Boss, okay. I put my phone down and go back to bed. And then like I start thinking, I'm like, wait, Annihilus? Wait, boss, boss, main boss? Wait, 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 we're fighting Kenobi. Wait, wait, I have to fight the a boss against Kenobi? If it's Kenobi, it's probably a rank three. And then I'm like, wait, 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 am I dreaming or is this real? So I open my phone, I, I, I look in the war and there's a rank three Annihilus. I really read my pass, I'm like, I have to fight a six star rank three Annihilus boss against Kenobi, the best warrants in the game, and they have Siphon with Missim Supreme. I'm just like, <laughs> really? So I, I go online and this is what I put. I put, I'm taking the boss with a laughing face in the eyes. And then Tater is like, you got this, bro. Uh, you're the most skilled Sim player in our group, no doubt. I was like, I dude, I haven't used Sim Supreme in a long time. I, I, I don't use him that much anymore, but. I was like kind of freaking out, so I sent that sticker and I was like, I'm gonna duel Annihilus like a million times. So that's the pre-context to this war. Uh, now let's get into it. So we're, we're starting out on path number two in section one. I just have one fight, a Solar Surfer, and then you know later on I'm gonna, I'm gonna boost up, do like all the rest of my fights, and then the boss fight and everything uh, at one time. So I had one fight here, so I was like, I don't really want to like max boost, so I probably just a ten percent boost, you know, something light, but still boosting. And so notice six star rank three silver surfer. There's one of them. There, there's three of them that I fight. That's one of them. I'm like great, you know, rank three. But I was, I was thinking this is gonna be pretty easy. I, I dueled the silver surfer too a couple times before, uh, just to, like get a feel for his animations, uh, his special one, how to dex it, and everything like that. I was feeling pretty good. And I made sure to remember to not punish his heavy attack because he phases and then yeah, if you hit him and you miss, you can get smacked. Uh, so with this with this node, uh, we're getting bleeds applied to us and we're, we're just healing from them with Omega Red, so that's really nice. We're getting an armor break, so like just this is free regen, man. We're healing 117 per tick, uh, so that's nice. That's real nice. And yeah, everything, everything's going pretty good right now. Uh, we're taking a little bit slow. Baiting his L1s, uh, he, he's throwing those heavies, but I'm, I'm not falling for him. Even after the phase is gone, I'm just not punishing it because I just, I'm a little scared of that. I'm playing uh, a little scared, uh, but everything's going okay. So uh, trying to keep my spores up, they keep falling off. But you know, we've got him down to 30% uh, right here, perfectly evading his L1, you know, feeling pretty good. Uh, like I said, I practiced that in some duels, but again, all my spores fall off. I don't have any synergies with Omega Red, uh, so they fall off much quicker. And then right here, I get blasted by his L1, 14,000 crit, and I lose 50% of my health, man. These stupid rank three six stars, even a Silver Surfer hits like a truck, man. It's ridiculous. And at this point, I'm just like, get me out of this fight. Like, I don't wanna be in this fight anymore. This was like a little bit after waking up. I'm like, dude, just get me out of here. I get my special done, I'm just like spamming it. Omega Red, just get me out of this fight. I don't want to do any of more war right now. I like get me out of here. So special three kills him, and it's over. I was like, okay, that sucked, but it's fine. It's just a couple potions. I'd rather use a couple potions and report a death. So 
whatever. About eight hours goes by, um, and now we're coordinating the, the the end of the war here, and so people are on, and um, I wait for Brett, my uh, lane buddy here. Uh, Enzo clears us, uh, so now we're good to go. So I boost up here. Um, I, I got a Nick Fury. Uh, we thought it was a six star rank three, but it's actually only a rank two, which is nice. Really, really nice. Uh, but I boost up pretty much as big as I can. Um, I, I didn't have the max boosts for the attack and health. I just had the 30% ones. So you know, like I said uh, to Taters, I'm like, yo, I'll buy a boost pack, you know, if needed, uh, cause I'm taking the boss and everything. Like this, we got, we can't really leave things to chance for this war. So I was like, I'll, I'll buy that if you think I should. He's like, nah, medium boost should be good. I'm like, all right, I was willing to spend the units, man. I was willing to. So like, all right. Uh, so I use the 30, the medium boost for attack and health, but 30% one. And I use a regen boost here, uh, just because I used one last time and it, it worked really well. The, the Nick fight we had last time was like pretty much textbook. Uh, and this one, like, look at his power bar. It's just barely not as special to, um, I, I put my webcam on this side of the screen today, uh, because for the Arcus fight that's coming up, it's, uh, <laughs> you don't want to see his power gain. Um, so yeah, it's kind of blocking mine, but you know, if you see on mine, <clears throat> right to this side, right there, um, if it's green, I have a special one. If it's orange, I have a special two. If it's red, I have a special three. So. But uh, that fight went pretty good for a six star rank two Nick. You know, we, we took some damage. It's gonna be <clears throat> pretty hard to get out of that fight with any more health, you know, uh, unless he's super cooperative. Uh, those zero L ones and everything. So I was happy with that. Uh, it cost me two potions, but I'd much rather use potions after a fight like that than <laughs> as to what happened with Silver Surfer. So uh, my boosts are good. I got a hood here. So hood is actually siphon. So I have to be a little bit careful. But you know, I did this fight last war. Now I just pretty much don't have synergies or anything. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. Just gotta be a little bit careful. Uh, so yeah, trying to get my spores up, trying not to do too much damage. Uh, Cause it looks like this guy also has Mystic Dispersion on. So just my dexterity is giving him a lot of power, which I'm not a fan of. Right here, I go for a heavy counter. I uh, never heavy countered a hood before. I didn't I do, do any duels to practice for this fight. Uh, so really glad that that connected. I had a good feeling that it would or else I wouldn't have went for it, but yeah, it was untested, uh, that's fine. Uh, bait these L1s, throw my special two here, and boom, a hood goes down. And that's my last Omega Red fight, so I don't have to heal him anymore. We're good, that's done with. I'm like, all right, Like, I was kind of worried about those fights, you know, just, I just wanted to get them done. So I'm like, all right, no, no more Omega Red. Uh, was a little, it's just a little stressful to use them in war without uh, any synergies, once you're kind of used to using the synergies, uh, especially in like war. So at this point, we wait a bit. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna throw on my Mystic Boost. We got a lot of time on these, so they should be fine to last till the boss. And uh, next up here, we have an Arcus. So again, look at his rank and level, six star rank three. Real fun, real fun fighting all these freaking rank threes, man. So I'm gonna put on an advanced power boost. And so my team here, uh, I have Symbiote Supreme and Doctor Strange, and they actually have a synergy, which grants one bar of power to Symbiote Supreme at the start of the fight. And when you pair this up with the power start one boost, you actually start with the fight with two bars of power. So that's really cool. Uh, so yeah, here we're gonna start the fight with two bars of power. And I'm just gonna chill. I'm just trying to chill until I get to my special three. Now this node has kinetic transference and counter tactics. And I kind of just forgot about the kinetic transference. So that's basically when he hits my block, he's gonna get power. And uh, yeah, let's just say I forget about that. You guys are gonna see why I put the webcam on this side. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, get to my special three, drop it, you know, with those mystic boosts uh, and having 100 genetic potential, I was hoping I'd get pushed to two bars, but I don't, I don't quite get there. So I'm just, again, chilling, wasting time. But here he starts, I was trying to bait a heavy attack and he got so much power. I was like, oh crap, let me throw my special two, power drain him. Okay, uh, let me throw another special two here, power drain him, but then I, I go out of the power gain phase. I'm in the armor phase. We're both at special threes. I'm just spamming that special three button you know get me out of here kill him and yeah we, we get our special three off first thank god and uh yeah i don't know if i would have died to a special three probably not but yeah i didn't really want to waste any more any potions being max boosted nearly max boosted so yeah 
And so again, a little bit more context before we go into the next fight here. So here's a screenshot uh, of a duel I was doing. I literally dueled an Isles probably 20 times throughout the day and I really started dueling a lot uh, as we got towards uh, this boss fight here. And dueling is so good for war, man. It really just helps you a lot because I suck at fighting an Isles. I, I suck at fighting him. I don't know how to fight him. I never bothered to really learn. Um, I just smashed him with Corvus in AQ and I reused the mini boss. So I dueled him like all day, really learned the spacing, the timing with Sim Supreme, got really comfortable with the fight, and I'm pretty confident at this point. Unfortunately, we had a little bit of trouble um, getting at communicating, getting everything down uh, together. So I had to reboost, which, which kind of sucked, but I don't even care. I'm just, I, I really just hype myself up at this point, and I'm just, I'm ready. I'm, I'm calm, I'm confident, I'm ready for this fight. I did my duels. So I'm going to start with two bars of power again, and the plan is to just chill and try to get to my special three. Now notice what I did right there. So basically, um, I dex his medium and then instantly punish with a light attack. Uh, the spacing uh, on Annihilus' uh, mediums allow you to do that. So that was good. Get to my special three, full yellow bar. I'm feeling great. That was a perfect start that I was looking for. And, you know, ideally what, what, what my plan was to get into a special two loop, uh, like what I used to do used to do to uh, the champion bosses. If I can do that, man, this fight it will be in the bag. So I uh, get a perfect block on my parry there, that was nice. Um, right here he throws a heavy attack, so now I'm going to throw my special 2, and boom, we get uh, a lot of power, but we go to special 3. So notice right now, I don't throw my special 3. I'm holding my power, and I, I attack him a couple times, and I build my genetic potential again to 100. That was a very critical moment in the war for someone who uh, in this fight, for someone who was unfamiliar with Sim Supreme, maybe they would have just thrown that special 3 right away. That would have been a huge mistake because uh, if you get to 100 genetic potential, you're going to gain about a bar of power after your special 3, which is what I need here. Again, I'm just trying to get to a special 2. Uh, right here I get hit, but it was fine. Uh, I had my armor up, so that was damage capped. So I get my special 2 off here, then I go into my attack phase, uh, and now I can just loop these special 2s. So just drop in L2s after L2s. Get another one, boom, keep on dropping them. They're hitting pretty good. Those armor breaks are making my damage increase by a significant amount. Get to another special two, just looking for that opening. Boom, get it off. And Annihilus, six star rank three, siphon solo with some Supreme. Oh my God, dude. I was so hyped after doing that. I literally got up, started dancing. Yes, oh, I'm punching the air. I was, oh, it felt so good. Just like, uh, stressing about it all day, so much pressure on my shoulders for this fight. It's just, oh, it felt so good, man. I, can't, I cannot tell you how good it felt to solo that fight. One of probably my best fights all war, all war season. Uh, as, oh, I was ecstatic, man. I was so happy when I did that. And so uh, here's the stats for BG3. We actually had three deaths and they had five. So uh, we beat their BG3. It's actually hilarious. I had four defender kills, uh, which is just, this has to be some kind of a record because like Kenobi like just doesn't die for one person to have four. And I'm put my weapon X, I think he got like three of these, the weapon flex, man. Um, we, we actually used the crush uh, defender tactics just to, you know, like mix it up because they're so used to fighting flow and siphon. So we use crush. And yeah, so Weapon X, man, <laughs> what a beast. Uh, so that, that was awesome. I was really happy about my Avenger kills. I was just laughing, man. That was cool. Now let's go take a look at the stats uh, for the war um, and my stats for the season. All right, guys. So unfortunately, we lost the war. Um, we have two war losses this season, and they're both to Kenobi. Just, uh, it sucks. We ended with 15 total deaths, and uh, they ended with nine. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. Shouts to the MVPs here. We got Dreamin, Pendam, and Pete, both in BG3, and DT over in BG2. Uh, clutch solo on the, his mojo boss post on Twitter. It was cool. Uh, Shouts to their MVPs as well. So yeah, it was really unfortunate that we lost, man. Felt bad. I, I couldn't fall asleep that night. And I just kept checking war, kept checking the stats, and I just I was so hyped after selling the boss. I, just, I, I couldn't fall asleep, man. I, I barely slept the other night. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then here we have the leaderboard. So we're currently third, technically sixth. Um, we were, we we're in third place before, like actual third place. So yeah, we got pushed out. Uh, and right now, 
Iso A is in first, Kenobi's in second, and third is Stella Deuce. Um, so yeah, New Nation is uh, above us right now, and I think we actually matched in this war, so I'm lo really looking forward to facing them. Uh, an old alliance made in there named Legacy Lion. We have a bit of a rivalry because our names are so similar, and I was calling them the fake legacy. We had a competition to determine which one of us was the real one. I won. Uh, he never changed his name, but yeah, it's just some good banter. So I'm really looking forward to facing them. Hopefully, kick their butts. Uh, but now we can hop over to my stats for the season here. So uh, we're currently 33 and 0. We had five uh, fights the last four, sold them all, which is great. Still haven't died yet, which I'm so happy about. I. Definitely uh, kind of thought I was going to die against the boss when I first got it assigned, uh, but after like dueling all day, and like, I can't stress how important dueling is, guys. Like it might sound dumb, but like you really get can get comfortable with a fight and just like now like was against Nihilus, bro. I am so confident with Sim Supreme. I like I wasn't even intercepting in that fight, but I learned all kinds of light intercept mechanics in that fight, and I, just, I didn't even want to use them in the boss fight, like just in case. Um, I was trying to play really safe, uh, but yeah, I, I'm so confident against Annihilus with some Supreme now. Like dueling, it, it's so good, man. It's so good. Um, but uh, yeah, so your death, 100% solo rate. My total difficulty rating um, is up to a total of 40.17. My SR bonus is 5.93. Power rating is 46.11. I think that's just if you add the TDR and the SR bonus together, you get that. Um, uh, so my TDR per fight, which is total difficulty rating like per fight uh, of like all my fights averaged out here, is at a 1.22, and that's pretty good. Uh, 1.2 is pretty hard. 1.3 is really hard. Um, so 1.22 total, and for just the war against Kenobi, uh, this number would have been 1.3 because the war boss node is the most difficult node, so it has the the hardest. Uh, amount, but the average would be 1.3 for that war. So, uh, yeah, uh, and now we move up to fourth in BG3. So, yeah, it was a crazy war. Probably my best war of the season. Definitely my best individual fight of the season. Um, I'm really proud of that. And it's just, yeah, it, it feels like I'm just getting better as a player uh, playing with these guys in for Loki, and I'm just having a great time. It's yeah, they're they're also just like really supportive, and yeah, like it just they were hyping me up too you know it's just it's great it was really 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 good good vibes all around uh but yeah it's gonna do it for this war against kenobi guys drop a like for that annihilus solo i think i earned your like on this one subscribe if you'd like to see more war content and other videos thank you so much for watching peace out